Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, episode 4 of the AC Milan Football Manager 2022 save. This is going to be um, a very, very long episode because we've got to get the whole of October in this one as well as the Barcelona game today. I cut the last episode short just under the good regards of it. It was going to get a long episode but today's going to be a special episode. We're getting rid of October, we're getting that out of the way and obviously next episode... Obviously, we're going to keep November as a full, full episode. We'll get through all of that. And then December, we're going to break that down into two parts because we're going to look at a few, a few players that we want to sign if we want to sell anyone and see how we've performed overall as a team. But yeah, if you haven't already and you are enjoying this series, please be sure to leave a like, rate, and also subscribe. And obviously, share the video to your friends. Tag me on all your social medias. It's much appreciated. And obviously, let's get the three points from Barcelona today. Massive, massive game. So I just thought I'd obviously show you the quick team line out of what we're going to use against Barcelona. It's um, different to what we used in the last game against Lazio because we obviously have a few players that aren't very, very fit for this match. And obviously, Fio Hernandez picking up an injury in the last match was pretty sad. So yes, Toure goes in. Uh, Zakari, Zakara, I still can't pronounce his name. I'm sure someone will correct us in the comments in the future. Um, Rebek comes into the first team and fingers crossed we can come away with the three points. So we go now. Corner from Tenali. Whips it in. No one's found it. The Kari. Kari Tenali. Tenali to Mori. Let's go. Tenali. Brahim. Oh, what a shot. Corner again. Whips in from Tenali. Kadja. It's 1 0 AC Milan against Barcelona. What a start that is. Only 10 minutes into the match. A lovely, lovely corner. Whipped in from Tenali and Kadja. At the front post with an absolute incredible finish. Come on, AC Milan. Brahim's going to find Florenzi. Come on, Florenzi. Back to Brahim. Back to Florenzi. Denali. The Kari on the edge of the box. Toure. Come on, Toure. Beat your man. Get that ball in the box, Toure. Zakari. What a ball that is. And Bellotti. Oh, I don't think he's on side, though. I think Bellotti's just a couple of inches offside there. What's VAR going to say? It's went to VAR. Is it going to be allowed or is it going to be disallowed? It's disallowed. Yeah, he did look a touch offside, sadly, for Bellotti. Could have been his second goal of the season. But obviously, yep, he's just a touch offside. Still, 1-0. Oh, what's happened there? Florenzi's picked it up by, by a bad pass from Tishtegen. Brahim's found on that right-hand side now. Can he find someone in the middle? He has. And Rebek! There's a goal from him. He is in sensational form at the moment. With our club. 2-0 Milan in this massive, massive game against Barcelona. Come on, Milan. Back now, we're going to be making a substitution. Um, we're going to take off Florenzi. I'm going to bring... It's as daft as it is. Back, Yoko's going to go right back. We're going to take off Brahim. We're going to bring on Benton Kerr. I think that's how you pronounce him still. And Tenali's going to come off. We're going to rest Tenali up. Messiah is going to come on. A free kick from Barca, and what a strike, and what a goal from Gerard Piquet. Wow, that happened really fast. So, David Alaba, no, Jordi Alaba, sorry, finds Piquet just on the ed edge of that box there, and wow. What a finish that is. Right, now let's not bottle this up. Highlight straight after Barcelona scored in the last one. Right, now let's take this. Let's not. Come on. You sift down that side. Oh. Well, that's great. It's 2-2. How's this happened? Maybe we shouldn't have um, rested our midfielders. We've now just done the bottle job. We're 2-0 up. Another highlight here. Oh, and then Kaja. It's going to be a red card. And I have just made my last substitution. That is not good. Okay. That is not good at all. So, um, Zakari's going to go at centre-back. <laughs> I'm afraid. Um, Rebek, he's going to go in the midfield. We're just going to drop him in there. We'll play Ibra and Bellotti up top. Well, it's finished. 2-2 against Barcelona. Had so many chances in that match. And obviously, we just bottled it at the end of the game. Look at that. In the space of a minute, Barcelona capitalises and gets two goals back in the match. Obviously, he draws 2-2, but... As things stand, we're still doing relatively well in the group. And um, we're on to my next game. So yes, I'll see you in that one.
So here we go. Obviously, a few changes from Barcelona. Um, we're having to bring in Tomori at right back instead of playing at centre back, just over the fact that Florenzi. Um, I mean, he's got a high risk of an injury. Yes, he's played well, but I think Tomori at right back should be a solid, solid player in any way. Ragnoli comes in at centre back. Uh, obviously, Kaja starts again in this match, but he's, he will be suspended in the Champions League. The next um, next um, group game, sorry. So then Theo Hernandez comes back in at left back. Zakara is coming in. Bagioko is going to make a start in the team. Benton Kerr is coming back in. Balotti starts. Ibra starts. And Rebek starts. So just one change up top, obviously, for us. Ibra starting at the top end of the pitch. Fingers crossed we can come up with another massive result. Let's jump into the game. Throwing now from the right hand side of Tamori. Ibra whips it over. Benton Kerr. Back to Yogo. Zakara. Whipped in. Oh my god, Rebek scored. What a... How, that was just such quick football. I mean, come on. Let's go AC Milan. Look at that. Back to Yogo. Pass it to Zakara. Zakara with a lovely pass, by the way. Theo Hernandez straight first time. And Rebek just nods it in with his head on the front post. 1-0 Milan. Let's keep it going. Ibrahim intercepts. Through to Rebek. Rebek, what's he going to do? He squared it back to Ibrahimovic. Ibrahimovic's first goal of the season. It's 2 0 Milan. And let's keep on building on this and keep this form going in the matches because this is huge. This free up, the free up top is a massive, massive tactic. It's just so, so good. It just works very well. Another highlight now. Keep uh Sirigo kicks it to Tamori. Tamori intercepts obviously Rebek through to Bellotti. It's 3-0 Milan. And now we're just walking rings round Genoa. This is absolutely this is just gonna be a slaughter fest. All three strikers have now scored in this game. Let's see the end result, because this is gonna be an interesting game. We're only 17 minutes in. And what a finish by Bellotti, by the way. And Rebek set up the goal. He's having an outstanding season, Rebek. Kick long from Sirigu now. Ramagnoli's there, though. There's no players up front for Genoa. Right, Benton Kerr through to Theo Hernandez. Theo Hernandez on the left-hand side. Can he find someone? He has Bellotti. That's Bellotti's second goal of the game. Theo Hernandez's second assist of the game. And, yes, obviously, as you can tell by the scoreline, we are smashing Genoa to bits. So let's keep it going. Corner now. Whipped in. Romagnoli. Takes it back to Benton Kerr. Whip back in there. Ibra's there. And Ibra should do a lot better. The giant himself should be burying that. we we'll go. Genoa back on the potential attack. Doesn't matter. Bellotti's intercepted. There's plenty of players in the box for Bellotti. Can he find them? That's a terrible corner. But wow. Keeper's done terrible there. And Ibra. Ibrahimovic should be doing much better there. We're going to be making some substitutions. We're going to be taking off. Um, Tomori's going to be coming off. Florenzi's going to be coming off of him. We're going to bring on... Um, we're going to bring on Leal. And we're also going to bring on... Uh, let's bring on Kessie. Kessie's going to come on. And that's how it finishes. AC Milan 4, Genoa 0. I mean, just look at those match stats. We absolutely slapped Genoa pillar to post. The amount of shots we had at goal... It's just incredible. 32 shots, 14 on target. I mean, the XJ in itself shows that how well we played. Possession-wise, we dominated them. So, yes, into the next game now. A go. Uh, we play Torino in today's game. A um, few changes in the team, obviously. Um, we've got uh, Tomori still, obviously, at right back. But, obviously, we'll bring in Gaba... Gaba... Gabia? Gabi... Uh, I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce him. Basically, he's coming in at centre back. Torre's coming in at left back. Uh, Tenali and Kessie's going to be coming in the midfield. Same up front, obviously, as normal. And yes, we'll see how we're playing this match. Let's hopefully come out with a win. Here we go. Let's intercept this, please. It's intercepted. No one's still there, though, on the second ball. Torino's Torino still on the attack. Oh, coming out now from Torino. Whipped in. Oh, just scrambled everywhere in the box. Wait, what? What's happening now? I mean, I've seen everything scrambling in the box, but... What's going on now? Why is the ref checking for a penalty? What's happening? 
Wait, what? It's, uh, it's penalty. You, apparently, your player was shoved. What? I'm shocked. What? What? What just happened? Oh, the keeper saves it in any way. But what? What the hell just happened there? Okay. Yeah. Keeper saved it. Big save from the keeper, and we've cleared that corner. I'm still shocked at what actually happened there for it to be a penalty. I I couldn't say anything. So yeah. Toure on the left hand side with a throw in now. Rebek on the left hand side as well coming in now. Kessie gonna find Zakari. Zakari for his first goal. That, my friends, is an absolute screamer. 1 0 Milan. It took a while for the goal to come. The full first half was boring. Not really much to show from the first half. And, I mean, look at that. Look how it just. Look at the curl on it. This is looking promising. 1 0 Milan. Another highlight now. Tor Tor uh, Torino's now on the ball. Now, now they're not. Ibra, he's going to find Bellotti. Bellotti one on one with the keeper, and he is so calm. And when he goes to go and strike a goal, I mean, there's no stopping him. <laughs> Can't be offside. No way he's offside. Yeah, I was going to say. He's literally. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, watch. Ready? Right back. Big Ibra. Ibra, yeah, Bolly, Bolotti, yeah, he might have just came offside by the looks of it for some defenders, but <laughs> by the looks of that, he was running alongside the, the defender. He's not offside. Look at that again. Hey, Ibra. Yeah, he's through. Look at that. He's playing, five's playing him on. Well, anyway, goal stands 2 0 Milan. Making substitutions now. Kessie's going to be coming off. Uh, Brahim's coming on. Um, Bagioka's going to come back on the pitch. Oh, going to give him another chance. Zakari, I was going to take off there, but I'm not going to actually take him off. I think I'm going to give him more of a chance. Um, Rebek's going to actually come off. Rafael Leal will come onto the pitch. And there we go. It finishes 2-0 to AC Milan. What a really interesting game that was. A very, very boring first half. But in the second half, we come out with an absolute rocket of a goal from Zakari. And obviously, Bellotti to top it off. Makes it two. So, yes, not a very, very interesting, like, uh, very... I mean, we didn't absolutely pace them across the floor, but we won. Another win. We're back up and we're still top of the league. Let's go. So now we play Salzburg in the Champions League. Um, just uh, two changes for us. Um, I think stand. So Tomori leaves the pitch because obviously he is a bit more tired than anyone else. So Florenzi comes back in. Um, we have Zakari coming out. Back Yoga coming in for him. Um, obviously, we, ha we have had to take off Kadja because he's got a red card in the last game. Other than that, we're going to this game with high hopes. Let's, fingers crossed, and come up with another big win in this very, very hard group. Here we go now. It's been intercepted from us. Now can we go back on the counter? Rebek can't get there, but Tour is there on that left-hand side. Back through to Rebek. Rebek, can you find a man in the middle? He's from Bologna, and Bologna has got an absolute firing boot at the moment he's just on the scorecard after after every single game he's just so good i mean look at that rebek whips it in but he's there finds it on his head bang one nil milan let's go now throwing on the right hand side there for forenzi that was terrible ramagnoli finds tonali gabia Gabia, I'm going to call him Gabia, okay, through, Rebek, oh, there we go, it, he's not offside, there's no way he's offside, if he, it just doesn't make sense, like, every single check, it's disallowed, he is offside, right, okay, right, flip the chair, flip the table, right, he's offside, yep, he's, he's blatantly offside, yep, I'm blind, no bother, I'm going to make some substitutions now, I'm going to take off Turi, we're going to bring on Theo Hernandez after he's picked up a knock, we're going to also take off Tenali and bring on Bentenker. We're also going to take off Kessie and bring on Messiah. And uh, yeah, that should be the changes that we need to make. And by the looks of it, there might be a highlight, potentially. Ibra's there. Oh, wow. So the highlight now. What's happening here? Rebex throwing goal. Rebex went round the keeper and that's it. It's 2 0. And Rebex has just done a sensational. Take it past the keeper, slot it home, and bring us the three points. Ibra nods it on. 
the defender did terrible there, judge that header. And Rebeck just runs past the keeper, slots at home, brings back home the three points. Go and take a bow in the corner, son. We're going to make another substitution now. We're going to take off Ibra. We're going to bring on Giroud. Um, Giroud's really had a good start of the season. Um, I did want to start Ibra a lot more, but yeah, let's let's try Giroud and see how he gets on the last 12 minutes. Passing the ball around now. This fruit is Seco. Oh my God. Seco can't do anything, but uh, Adami... Adami? Karim. I'm just going to call him Karim. Karim just follows up and, yep, yeah, slots at home. 2 1. Let's not bottle this, please. Let's not have another Barcelona because that's just ridiculous to have another Barcelona towards the end of the match. Throwing whipped over to Giroud. Giroud back to Florenzi. Florenzi better Giroud! And Olivier Giroud buries it, but is it offside? Because they're still appealing that it's going to be offside. But is it actually offside? Because I don't think it is. But I didn't think that about the last one. Goal's been awarded. Olivier Giroud gets his goal. And I mean, Florenzi with a lovely throw in. Giroud back to Florenzi. Florenzi then goes back to Giroud. And Giroud, first time. Wow, look at that. Buries it. Right, that should be three points. Actually, another highlight. Giroud's been taken down in the box by Seco. It's going to be a penalty by the looks of it now. I mean, we're already a minute over injury time. Um, yes, there's been a penalty awarded. Olivier Giroud, by the looks of it, is also going to take the penalty. So Seco with a yellow card. Can Giroud get another goal? Giroud steps up. You're on time, Giroud. Can he bury it? No, he can't. I mean, that was a terrible penalty, but yes. We've seen that one. Um, what an end of the game. We win 3-1. Another three points on the board for the Champions League group. And yes, we're on to the next game. Uh, just brought his back really quick after that match. Uh, Turi picking up a knock in that last match. Um, it looks like he's going to be out between 12 and 15 days. So, yeah, it's not too good for him. But we'll hopefully have some um, players to replace him in that left-back position. Otherwise, we'll just have to play players out of position like we did with back Yoko or right-back. So, yeah. Right, we're going up against Spiz Spizia. I think that's how uh, I pronounce that team. Yes, so a couple of changes in for this uh, match. Obviously, a couple of unfit players after the last match against um, Salzburg. So, Timori's going in at right back. We've got Theo Hernandez obviously starting at left back. We have um, Brahim Diaz coming in. We've got a full new up front um, players coming in as Belotti, Ibrahimovic and Rebek are all a bit tired. I mean, Ibra isn't, but I really, really want to try Giroud again, starting him in this match because we should be cautioned for this opposition. Um, Pellegrin, he's coming in, um, the lone striker. We've got Giroud, obviously, it's striker, as well as Rafael Leal. Uh, let me just quickly check this guy that's in on loan. Yeah, I thought it was a guy from uh, Monaco. So yeah, 20 years of age, Italian. An optional fee in there for him, so we'll see what happens. Right, okay, we're going to the game now. Going well, now from this right hand side now. Tomori's going to be taking it. Hides it over to Giroud. Olivier Giroud has just scored a repeat of a goal that he scored in the last match, basically. Um, other than the fact that he hit it first time in the last match, it wasn't so with this one. Ball comes in from Tomori on that right hand side. Giroud takes it down, then hits it, and it's just went at the back of the net. We lead 1 0. Is he going to find a ball into the box? Brahim back to him now. Go on there. Tonali. Tonali buries it. Wow. What a strike that is from Sandro Tonali. I mean, you're not going to score many better than that, I think. Uh, from that outside of the box. Look at that. Brahim. Whacks it in. Defender clears it. Tonali takes it back on that right hand. Right, right foot. Jesus. Words come out of my mouth. And buries it home. Sandro Tonali with his first goal of the season. 2 0 Milan. I mean, I was just commenting next second I know it's the referees looking for a penalty. Mate, there's no. What? There's no form of contact. There's too many penalties in this game and VAR decisions. Come on, keep a. Oh, of course they've buried it. Ah, bravo. What's, what's he going to say next? That he didn't take the penalty right? God's sake. Okay, it's 2 1. Jesse back to Pellegrin. Find a player. Tamori on that right hand side now. Tamori whips it in. Olivier Giroud. Oh, Ben Kerr on that left hand side now. It's come in and Zakari. I mean, he's got his, he's got ahead of goal. I mean, there's no one covering Zakari. I'm sure he's not that tall. But it comes in. 
the car he just steps takes just a couple of steps back and like he had a terrible even watch that it just blew past him but yes that's probably going to be it for this game it certainly is it's 3-1 we win i mean we dominated them um really really good game from us again yeah on to the next match which i believe is a derby day so a couple of changes for us going at the derby day today um milan versus inter milan i mean first versus second there's nothing bigger than this match really and um, it's gonna be a really really tough game i mean we've put in i believe this is our strongest 11 obviously other than ibra um I mean, we're going to see how Giroud performs because in the last couple of games, Olivier Giroud has just been exceptional. I mean, he came on, scored a few goals against Salzburg and he's the last match he scored a goal as well. So, yeah, we're well, going to start Giroud, see how he gets on. Um, and fingers crossed we can come away with a free point against the big opposition um, in Inter Milan. So, yeah, let's get into the game. Screening out to Dzeko. Wait there, Rebek. It's an attack from Inter, maybe. I mean, AC, sorry, AC through, and Bologna scores in the derby. Only nine minutes, nearly nine minutes into the match. We're 1-0 up in a massive, massive fixture. I mean, look at that. Three men just darting up top. Terrible interception by Perisic, and Bologna gets there and just slots it home. 1-0 Milan. De Vrij, Scrinio, Vidal, Barella, Dzeko. Dzeko's somehow got the legs Latoro Martinez goes around the keeper and it's 1-1 one, one. Inter Milan pull one back I mean we could be doing a lot better there in that situation but yes look at that Barilla passes it to Dzeko Dzeko just completely takes past Tomori Tomori should be doing much better at deal with Dzeko than that and Kaja has just been really outpaced by Latoro Martinez I mean the lad's fast Kaja can't keep up with him Another highlight straight away, Hakan Chonaloglu. Let's not let him get there because oh, he normally buries free kicks, that guy. Denali. Nice pass through. Can Bellotti bury it? He can! But he's not offside, ref. There's no way he is possibly offside, right? Stop checking VAR. Bellotti's onside. It's 2-1. It's, it's not 2-1. It's not 2-1. Oh my lord, how is that? Oh, he's just offside as well. Oh, okay. 1-1. One, one. The Tamori. Tamori to Zakari. Zakari. Zakari, wow, he's still going. Uh, he's passed it to Florenzi. Florenzi takes over from now, whips it in. That's a terrible, terrible cross. It goes all the way over the other side of the pitch. Theo Hernandez, Giroud. Ah, oh, wow. Okay, let's not get countered by that. What a tackle by Kaja. Kaja forward now. Right, here we go. Bellotti, we're building something now. Bellotti needs to find someone in the middle. Florenzi, can he find Big Ebra in the box? Can't yet. Still can't. Why are we not putting in the box for Big Ebra? Florenzi. Florenzi going back down the right-hand side. Oh, my Lord. Is that a penalty? What is that? Is that a pen? I mean, that looked very weak. To be a penalty. It is a penalty. Ibrahimovic. Is going to step up for this penalty. Ibrahimovic. Oh my lord. What has he just done there? Ibrahimovic has just missed a penalty. Oh no. It should be 2-1. Ibra's just missed a pen. Tamori's just made a foul. I mean. Okay. And that game ends 1-1 sadly for us. I mean. We could have. Run away with that in the end there. We had two disallowed... Well, we had a disallowed goal from Bellotti, sadly. And obviously, Ibra missed a penalty. Um, just sad, sad. Not to come away with three points. But yeah, we keep moving. And we are still top of the Serie A. So, we're going up against another opposition today. Uh, Salentina. I think that's how you pronounce this uh, club's name. Salentina, I'm going to call them. So, obviously... <sighs> I think we should be beating them comfortably. So I've got a bit of a rotated side in there. Obviously, a few players stay in the lineup. But yeah, other than that, Bagnon was obviously playing at left back, sadly, because obviously we're going to be resting um, Theo Hernandez because he is a bit tired. Um, Benton Kua is going to be starting in midfield alongside Diaz as well. He's coming in. We've got Rafael Leal making his return to the team. Fingers crossed he can actually come out with a very big um, performance today because he hasn't been that good at all this season. Um, Ibrahimovic, as much as he missed that penalty in the last game, I'm hoping he can redeem himself in this one and 
build a little bit of momentum because he's only scored two goals. So yes, let's go and get hopefully three points. The Corey from the midfield now breaking forward all by himself. Can he find someone in the middle? He can't yet. Benton Cure. Florenzi whips it back stick. Can't get on his head there, Rafael Leal. Uh, Bagiogo for him. Back to, back to Bagiogo. And that is going to be a penalty by the looks of it. Um, it is indeed. I mean, Zakari's hit the deck. Been taken down. And I'm pretty sure. Yep, penalty has been awarded. And I'm assuming Ibra's going to step up again for a penalty. Can Ibra bury it this time though? Ibrahimovic, he has. He got a lucky mind. The keeper gets the right way, but Ibra buries it. Okay, so... Right, Ibra, let's build a bit of momentum, mate. Let's get you massively on the score sheet. Benton Kerr with a corner, whips it in. And is that Gabba? Gabia? It could be offside. But potentially a goal for Gabia. Has it been a... I don't even know if it's been allowed. It's been allowed! Gabia with his first goal. Kicked long by them now. Benton Kerr. Can he find someone? He has. He's found Florenzi. Florenzi's still there. Nice pass over to Belotti. Belotti finds Ibrahimovic. And that's Latvan's second goal in this match. First from the penalty, second from a shot, and an assist from Belotti. 3 0 Milan. This should be a walk in the park, as I said at the start of this game. Ibrahimovic now. Ibra whips it long. Bakiogo. Bakiogo on that left hand side. Can he find someone in the box? He's found Belotti, but Belotti can't get there. Florenzi whips it back in. Rafael Leal down again. Bakayoko! Oh my word! I mean... Wow! What was that? Where, the, where did that just come from? It came out. Leal's pinged it down. It, it just, it's just been buried. I mean... That's like a Papa's CCA against Chelsea back in the day-esque. Wow. Baggy Yogo, take a bow, sir. At left back as well. Leal, what's he going to do now? He's pulled it back to Baggy Yogo. Messiah. Zachary. Oh, my God. Benton Kerr. What is happening in this match? There's been two screamers scored in this game. I mean, just look at how he puts this away. Comes back. Goes back in with Baggy Yogo. Messiah to Zachary. Zachary finds... And just look at that. First time low driven shot. And it's just buried into the bottom corner. 5-0. Intercepted by Messiah. Rafael Leal. What's he going to do now? He needs to find Ibra in the middle. And there we go. Ibrahimovic has scored a hat trick in this game. Ibrahimovic is hopefully finding his shooting boots for the rest of the season. It's 6-0. And I mean the second half hasn't been as... Um, Exciting as the first half, but yes, it is indeed 6 0 AC Milan. But there we go, and there we have it 6 0 in the final episode, final episode, the final game of this episode. Ibrahimovic getting a hat trick in this match, Rafael Leal getting his goal, Benton Cure getting an absolute screamer, and obviously Baka Yogo with an absolute thunder, thunder strike of a goal on the left hand side. I mean, that's going to be talked about for the rest of the season. No doubt. Anyway, I've just brought you back to the schedule screen. As you can see, we've played all the games in um, the whole of October. Uh, we undefeated still. We haven't lost a game since, I mean, it must, yeah, second game of the season there. Napoli lost against them 1-0. We haven't lost since then. I mean, look at those results over this episode. Obviously, drawing against Barcelona, that was just a bottle job. But then going up against Genoa, winning 4-0. Going up against Torino, winning 2 0. Going up against Salzburg, winning 3 1. Spezia? Spezia, I think that's, I think that's how it's going to be. Um, yeah, winning against them, 3 1. Drawing against Inter Milan, sadly, we should have won that. Uh, I mean, Ibrahim should have got a uh, penalty and should have scored that in that match. Um, and obviously, this game, 6 0. Absolutely massive. So next episode, fingers crossed we can actually qualify for the Champions League in the next episode and hopefully win the next two games. Um, if you did enjoy this um, video, don't forget, leave a like rating or subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. Makes us know that you actually enjoy the content that I'm putting out. And obviously there's going to be a lot more future videos coming to the channel. Um, this is just obviously a start, a warm-up for the whole season ahead. I mean, yeah, let us know. Any suggestions in the comments about January? Any transfers you'd like to see in and out the club? 
And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks and goodbye.